This is Gail Giacomo for the Gatsby Salon and be there at SalonGalaxy.com. This is Anthony Lombardi and be there on SalonGalaxy.com. is the love child of Philadelphia and New York. What do you think of that? I think Philadelphia and New York wish they could be New Jersey. Now, I, I actually lied. She didn't say that. No, and no, she, said that. I said that. I want to first talk about this. This is important to me. On SalonGalaxy.com, it's a professional beauty industry site. Now, with all this hype you have about Jerseylicious and the cat and mouse stuff and everybody's fighting with everybody, the fact is this. You guys both run a successful salon. Yeah. How do you handle that with all this ruckus that's going on? Well, my first priority is my business, obviously. I've been in business for 33 years, and my employees have been there for me for all this time, and for me, that's what's really important. Jersey Lish is just something added to my life that I thank God for, and I feel that it's an addition that I'll never forget and I can look back on as a great experience. All right, you know what? Let's forget Jersey Lish for a second. I mean, God, God, I've been blessed with Jersey Licious, no doubt about it. But for me, I've been in business five years. At the end of the day, it's all about business, it's all about doing hair. And I made a friend with Gail, I made a friend with Christy, and that's what we're here for. We're here to, to network from each other and talk about the industry to make people think that New Jersey does great hair. There's some good hairdressers down there in Philly, too. They're everywhere. They, I see them all over the country. There are a lot of them. They just miss Jersey for some reason. They ride through it, and they go, what is that about? I mean, how do you change that? We do have a lot of great hairdressers. My husband was, I mean, he lived for hair. And, I mean, I can't compete with his expertise, and I never will claim to. But, I mean, I have great people that work for me that are so talented, and I just feel like Jersey's overlooked. We're fabulous. Now, what, what does the show do as far as the salon? Does it disrupt you guys at all from a business perspective? I mean, do you see yourself losing money at certain times or what? No, I only I open the show up to my salon on Sundays and Mondays. They do not film during the week. I would not do that as a disrespect to my clientele nor to my employees. So the salon is filmed on Sunday and Mondays, and that's when they have Gatsby. Um, how it's brought business, it has is an excitement. People are looking for it. They love the drama. I just wish a little more that people would experience the really the expertise of my salon as hairdressers, not just for the drama. They're not just two reality stars. They're two hairdressers. They work for the, in the industry just like we do. You and I, we're all professionals in this industry. Anthony's working his salon, Gail's working her salon, they're trying to make a living. So the question is this, you're not really counting on Jersey Licious to get retirement money. No, no, no. So it ain't, wait, now. I did not do this show for the paycheck. I did it to network. I'm getting exactly what I wanted out of the show. I'm getting to network with the right people in our industry. Well, is it bringing people into your salon or are they going to the Gatsby? Oh, no, no, no. My, I, I can speak for my salon. I can't speak for the Gatsby, but for my salon, it's been fantastic. I'm getting people from all over the country. Yeah, it's been fantastic. It's been a wonderful experience. We met people from all over the country and they come to visit us. And that in itself has been wonderful because there are wonderful people out there that are just looking to make friendships. I mean, to me, that's that's wonderful, but for repeat business, you're not going to get it from a show. You just said friendships. Yeah. What's all this fighting going on in the Gatsby? We don't fight. No, you don't fight. We don't fight. But I'm seeing all these cats going now, well, now. You know what? It's all about the kids. They're all about drama they're and growing young. up. They're young. They don't. They're young. Shut up. No, they don't know what it really is. Can you shut the 
them up, the industry has changed. You know what? It is a dying breed in anything. I think children today, it's different. I mean, you're very lucky. You know what? You really got to work hard. If you think it's just going to come to you, you're, it's wrong. I mean, to get where you're going to get in life with hairstyling, you really have to work hard, go to classes, and you can't think you know everything because I've been in business 33 years, and you know what? I'm still out there to learn. If hairstyling is your passion, stay with it. No matter what anybody tells you, even if they tell you you're not the greatest hairstylist in the world, if it's your passion, stay with it. Take classes, do advanced education, and grab on to somebody who's been there and knows what they're doing, and keep pushing forward. Do it. If it's your passion, keep with it. You're going to be great. I love that. It's all creativity. It's all right. Creativity. Stay in here. Come in close. SalonGalaxy.com here with Anthony Lombardi and Gail DiGiacomo. Oh, oh, oh. Gail Giacomo. Giacomo. No, I'm not. Oh, you're drinking too much vodka tonight. No. I know. I'm DiGiacomo. I wanted to be a DiGiacomo. I'm trying. I was Salon. an Astro Giacomo, really. Oh, that's close. That's close enough. SalonGalaxy.com. Anthony Lombardi, Gail Giacomo, Art DiGiacomo. We're going to be back. We're bringing more stuff. Stay with us. See you soon. Salongalaxy.com. Thank you.